Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of our parish community, I am humbled and grateful to stand before you today to reflect upon the healing works of our Lord Jesus Christ, as described in the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 8, verses 40 to 56. These passages reveal the transformative power of faith, compassion, and the miracles of our Savior. Before we delve into the passage from St. Luke, let us take a moment to connect it with our readings from the Word of God for today. Our first reading from Deuteronomy chapter 11 verses 1 to 12 reminds us of God's faithfulness to his people and the importance of following his commandments. This message of unwavering faith and obedience will echo through our reflections on the healing works of Jesus. In the second reading from Isaiah chapter 40 verses 1 to 17, we hear of a comforting message, Comfort, comfort my people. This passage anticipates the arrival of the Messiah, bringing hope, healing, and redemption. The connection between Isaiah's message and the healing ministry of Jesus is unmistakable. Our third reading, from Galatians chapter 5 verses 1 to 26, speaks of the fruits of the Spirit, emphasizing love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These fruits are the very essence of Jesus' healing works, and they will play a significant role in our reflections today. Let me begin with a real-life story, a story from our own Kerala, which demonstrates the power of faith, healing, and compassion. A few years ago, in the midst of a devastating flood in our state, a group of individuals came together, transcending religious and cultural differences, to help their fellow human beings. They reached out to provide food, shelter, and medical care, mirroring the compassion that Jesus showed in his healing works. Now, let us focus on the passage from St. Luke. In verses 40 to 56, we read about two remarkable healing accounts, the healing of the woman with the issue of blood and the raising of Jairus' daughter. These stories highlight the boundless compassion of our Lord and the miraculous healing power that flowed from him. Let's take a closer look at the characteristics of the passage from Saint. Luke chapter 8 verses 40 to 56. This will help us gain a deeper understanding of the healing works of Jesus and their relevance to our lives today. Compassion and Accessibility In this passage, we witness Jesus' compassion as he responds to the desperate pleas of Jairus and the suffering woman. He is accessible to all, regardless of their social status or affliction. This characteristic reminds us that Jesus' healing power is available to everyone, and we should approach him with confidence. Faith is a healing catalyst. The stories of the woman with the issue of blood and Jairus exemplify the profound connection between faith and healing. Both individuals demonstrated unwavering faith, and it was their trust in Jesus that led to their miraculous healing. This characteristic underscores the importance of our faith in the healing process. Miraculous Healing Jesus' ability to heal the woman instantly and raise Jairus' daughter from the dead highlights the miraculous nature of his healing works. These healings serve as a powerful reminder that nothing is beyond the reach of God's restorative power. We can find hope in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. A message of hope. These healing accounts are not just historical events but messages of hope for all of us. They remind us that no matter how long we've suffered or how dire our circumstances may seem, there is always hope in the healing touch of Christ. This characteristic encourages us to maintain hope in times of difficulty. Personal Connection. The passage emphasizes the personal connection Jesus had with those he healed. He looked into the eyes of the suffering woman and called her, daughter, showing a deep, personal connection with her. This characteristic reminds us of the profound intimacy and love that Christ has for each one of us. Transcending Cultural and Social Boundaries Jesus' healing works in this passage transcended cultural, social, and religious boundaries. He healed both a Jewish synagogue leader's daughter and an unclean woman, demonstrating that his healing power is available to all, regardless of their background. This characteristic calls us to emulate his inclusivity in our diverse Kerala context. Teaching Moments These healing stories serve as valuable teaching moments, reinforcing the importance of faith, compassion, and trust in Christ's healing power. They provide us with guidance on how to approach our own challenges and how to minister to others who are suffering. As we reflect on these characteristics, let us remember that the healing works of Jesus are not confined to the pages of scripture but are living and relevant in our lives today. 
The woman with the issue of blood had suffered for 12 long years, a period symbolizing suffering and trials. But her unwavering faith led her to touch the fringe of Jesus' garment, and in an instant, she was healed. Her faith made her whole. This story teaches us that, like her, we must approach Jesus with trust, knowing that his healing power can transform our lives. In the account of Jairus' daughter, we witness the devastating news of her death. But Jesus, with compassion and love, took her by the hand and brought her back to life. This teaches us that there is no situation too dire for the healing touch of Christ, and it calls us to have unwavering faith in Him, even in the face of hopelessness. Let us draw connections from other parts of the Bible. In Mark chapter 5 verses 25 to 34, we find a parallel story of the woman with the issue of blood, emphasizing the importance of faith. In John chapter 11 verses 1 to 44, we witness Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead, reminding us that nothing is impossible for Him. These passages reinforce the idea that faith and healing go hand in hand. I'd like to share a quote from Saint Ephraim, who said, Christ our Lord, who gives life to all, raising from the dead the daughter of the synagogue leader and healing the woman who touched the hem of his garment, teaches us to have faith in him. These words resonate with the message of our readings and the healing works of Jesus. Pope Francis, in his teachings, often reminds us to reach out to the marginalized and to embrace compassion. In the context of Kerala, where we are blessed with cultural diversity and a rich history of harmony, we can follow his guidance by fostering unity, reaching out to those in need, and promoting interfaith dialogue, just as Jesus' healing works transcended social boundaries. In conclusion, the healing works of Jesus, as described in Luke chapter 8 verses 40 to 56, reveal his boundless compassion, the importance of unwavering faith, and the miraculous power of healing. Let us carry these lessons with us today as we reflect on our readings and strive to be vessels of God's love and healing in our Kerala context, especially during these challenging times. May we be like the woman with the issue of blood, reaching out to touch the hem of his garment, and like Jairus, seeking the Lord's healing touch with faith. And let us always remember that in our unity, we find strength and healing for ourselves and our world. എക്കാലത്തെയും ഭജന പഠനത്തിനുള്ള ബൈബിൾ ക്വിസുകൾക്കുള്ള ഉത്തമ സഹായി ഇന്നു തന്നെ ഗൂഗിൾ പ്ലേ സ്റ്റോറിൽ നിന്ന് ഭജനവയൽ ആപ്പ് ഡൗൺലോഡ് ചെയ്ത് വിവിധ ക്വിസുകൾക്കായി പഠിക്കാൻ ഈ ബുക്കുകൾ സ്വന്തമാക്കൂ ലോഗോസ് ക്ലബ് അംഗത്വമെടുത്ത് ലോഗോസിനായിരുന്ന ഭജനവയൽ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്ത് മത്സര റിസൾട്ടുകൾ ആദ്യമറിയാം ഡബ്ല്യൂ 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 ഡോട്ട് വചനവയൽ ഡോട്ട് കോം എന്ന സൈറ്റിലും ഈ ആപ്പ് ലഭ്യമാണ് എക്കാലത്തെയും ബൈബിൾ ക്വിസുകൾക്കും സഭാവിജ്ഞാന ക്വിസുകൾക്കും പരീക്ഷകൾക്കും വേദപാഠ പരീക്ഷകൾക്കും സഹായിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ലക്ഷത്തിന് പരം ചോദ്യോത്തരങ്ങൾ എക്കാലത്തെയും ബൈബിൾ ക്വിസുകൾക്കായുള്ള പഠന സഹായം വചനവയൽ ആപ്പ്